Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about central problem of an economy, micro versus macroeconomics, positive versus normative economics and production possibility curve. First of all, we are going to talk about central problem of an economy. Central problem of an economy means a common problem of an economy and common problem of an economy basically divided into three parts what to produce, how to produce, for whom to produce. One by one we discuss about each. So first central problem of economy is what to produce. As we know our resources are limited. We cannot use these limited resources for producing everything. That's why this become problem for us to choose which goods and services we should produce and in what quantities. For example, if there is a high demand for a particular product, then obviously firm can increase production of these goods and services to meet that demand and will reduce the production of certain goods which have low demand in market. Second problem is how to produce. This problem is related to choice of techniques for producing goods and services. Or we can say that this problem is related to efficient use of resources so that we can produce more output at least cost. And there are mainly two techniques of producing goods and services. First is labor intensive technique. Second is capital intensive technique. If we have labor in abundance, obviously we will use labor intensive technique, otherwise capital intensive technique. Next problem is for whom to produce. Now we have to decide for whom we will produce our goods and services. Or we can say that now we have to decide who will consumers of our goods and services. There are mainly two sectors, rich sector, poor and middle sector. For rich sector, we will produce high quality product and will sell at higher price. On the other hand, for poor and middle sector, we will produce low or average quality product and will sell at reasonable price. Now we are going to talk about microeconomics and macroeconomics. Microeconomics study about individual unit. For example, individual demand, individual supply, etc. On the other hand, macroeconomics study about whole economy. For example, inflation of whole economy, GDP of whole economy, and microeconomics study about demand and supply. On the other hand, macroeconomics study about aggregate demand and supply. For example, if we are studying about only daily demand, it will be called microeconomics. On the other hand, if we are going to study about demand of whole India, it will be called macroeconomics. And microeconomics also known as price theory, macroeconomics also known as theory of income and employment. And microeconomics have limited scope because this is small part of economy. On the other hand, macroeconomics has wider scope because this is large part of economy. An example of microeconomics is individual income, individual output. An example of macroeconomics is national output, national income, etc. Now we are going to talk about positive versus normative economics. Positive economics deal with the things as they are. Positive economics deal with the things as they are. Or we can say that positive economics describe true situation of present, past and future of any economy. For example, if I say India is populated country, unemployment rate come down in India in 2023. These statements are true about India. On the other hand, normative economics deal with things as they should be. Normative economics deal with things as they should be. Or we can say that normative economics based on opinions and advice of others. For example, some economists gave advice government should provide health service, government should reduce taxes, etc. And the positive economics is based on fact. On the other hand, normative economics are not based on fact. This is based on opinions of others. And we can verify statements in case of positive economics. Obviously, this economics is based on fact. We can easily verify statement in case of positive economics. For example, if I say in the unemployment rate come down in India in 2023, then I can verify this uh, statement by showing you data. On the other hand, verification of statement is not possible in case of normative economics. How you verify advice or opinions of others? Now we are going to talk about production possibility curve. 
production possibility curve shows all possible combination of two goods which we can produce by using our all available resources. Production possibility curve shows all possible combination of two goods which we can produce by using our all available resources. Or we can say that production possibility curve shows how much production is possible with given resources. Here in first column we can see possible combination. Second column we have wheat and third column we have machines. At A combination we are producing zero wheat but 15 machines. At B combination we are producing one wheat but 14 machines. Similar you can see other combination. When we convert this table into diagram we will get this. In this diagram on x axis we have wheat and y axis we have machines. Here you can see different possible combination A, B, A, B, C, D which we can produce with given resources. When we join all these combinations we will get our production possibility curve. This curve represents our production possibility curve. So this is all about central problem of an economy, micro versus macroeconomics, positive versus normative economics and production possibility curve. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye, take care.